Now moving on from classification, as is from metrics that are used for classification to clustering. And the very first one is mutual information between two clustering. As we can see here in the figure on the bottom left, say we have the two uh, two different uh, labels U and V that are shown here. Then the intersection here is given by U intersection V. That is this part of the equation. And then we have logarithm of this term right here. So this is used to calculate the mutual information and it uses the ideas from physics which is for entropy we won't be discussing entropy in detail here so mutual information can be explained in terms of entropy and entropy uh, is same from physics applied in information theory what uh, what we are trying to say here let's say we are looking at the entropy for u then what this equation is trying to tell is if we have uh, if we have a, a set of data points from two different labels that are mixed together then the entropy would be higher and if the classes if the labels are well separated then the entropy it would be should be lower and that's that's the general idea and here we have this term pij which again is given by this part and then log of pij divided by pi p dash j uh, which is given here now based on mutual information we can also calculate normalized mutual information which is the mutual information divided by the mean of the entropy for the labels u and v and we can also calculate the expected value shown by this equation right here and use that again to subtract from the mean in the denominator to get the adjusted mutual information and so uh, with the adjusted mutual information this is the equation that we saw earlier we can use that as a measure to add to to uh, quantify the quality of clustering that we get and the value of one suggests that the clustering model is good and the negative or lower values than one are considered as not good so here is the implementation for that we have adjusted mutual information score where we have y true and y pred again this is clustering and if you're probably wondering why we have y pred and y true labels here and this is as we talked earlier when in this series when looking at clustering algorithms it is that part of the data could have labels or you could manually add labels to part of the data to check the quality of the model and so that's what is in place here so here we have the mutual information score we have one values for both of these this is exactly the same so value of one this are different but then the permutations are possible that is to say that the clusters can have different labels yet it does not make a difference so here we have two clusters in the predicted uh, case uh, the labels are different but uh, the clusters are there are two clusters so that still gives us value of one now if the cluster clustering is off as shown here uh, here we have two clusters is there's just one cluster then the value for the final score uh, does drop to zero um, moving on there is something called as rand score now this uh, rand has nothing to do with random uh, this is uh, related to william m rand who, who has who has worked on this particular uh, problem and uh, the rand index is given by this relation number of agreeing pairs divided by number of pairs and the value of one suggests best uh, best score and value of zero suggests a worst scores so let's say if we have uh, when we're trying to find similarity between two clusters uh, if we have uh, pairs so number of pairs of elements that are in the same set c and same set k 
that's this one and the same set uh, number of pairs of elements that are in different sets in C and different sets in K that is given by B and then these are the total number of possible pairs in the data set that gives the rand index the implementation is the same rand underscore score is equal to y true y pred and again permutation is possible you have two clusters but they are different levels that is okay and the rand score does drop down if the clustering is of as seen here and as seen here there is also a version of rand score which is adjusted rand score that is shown here and in this adjusted rand score we are dividing the adjust rand index by uh, uh, subtracting the expected value from the numerator and then dividing by max rand index after subtracting again it from the expected value and the scoring is the same one stands for the best score the implementation is uh, similar uh, instead of rand underscore score here we are using adjusted underscore rand underscore score now this is a new um, uh, this is another measure in clustering which is completeness score so what we are trying to do here is uh, we are trying to see if all the data points that are members of a given class are elements of the same cluster and that will become clear in this particular small example here we have uh, two classes 0 and 1 and the elements from class 1 belong to all of them belong to class 1 class 0 belong to class 0 we have currently completeness score of 1 which is perfect score now permutations are possible the clusters are there two clusters but there is no mix up between the cluster data points so that's all good however now here we have mix up so the cluster this cluster which is identified with a label 0 has data points in both 1 and 0 from the two uh, cluster labels and therefore the completeness score has dropped to 0 now moving on to, before moving on to uh, next uh, measures scores uh, let's look at a uh, recap on different types of means we have the arithmetic mean of 2 3 and 6 it would be 3.6 so we're just adding them and dividing by the number of samples geometric mean on the other hand we take a product and then take a root nth root of that product harmonic mean is given by this relation so we'll be using these in upcoming uh, slides the first one in clustering is folks mallow score and that's the geometric mean between precision and recall given by this relation right here and again the one indicates good similarity between uh, the actual and predicted labels so here is the uh, in implementation of that we have the uh, folks mallow score is and y true y pred again these are labels to uh, this is unsupervised learning method but still you could assign labels to the data set just to uh, check uh, how your clustering model is performing and again permutations are possible you could label the clusters with different labels and that is okay and if the the data points from the clusters mix with each other then that uh, drops the score towards zero here we have 0 0.5 and then we have 0 .0, 0 0.0 similar to completeness score we have a homogeneity score uh, which says that if all if it's all of its clusters contain only data points which are members of a single class so again here we can see uh, that all the data points from this particular cluster belong to the same class as one these belong to zero however that does not hold true here because uh, they belong to class one and class zero both and therefore the homogeneity score drops to zero. If, if these two concepts are still unclear uh, please let me in the comments below and I'll, I'll try to elaborate on that 
then we have mutual information score uh, which is what we saw earlier uh, which is trying to identify the similarity between two labels uh, clustering labels and the implementation of that is the standard method matrix dot mutual underscore information underscore and we have y true y pred and again permutations are okay we could label clusters with different labels uh, as long as there is no mix up between of data points between clusters you have a higher score uh, if there is a mix up then the score starts to drop towards zero and another version of mutual information score is normalized mutual information score and the implementation is uh, what we saw earlier except that now we have a normalized underscore string added to this earlier string so we have normalized mutual info next we have what is called as v major score and that is the harmonic mean between homogeneity and completeness and it is given by this relation right here so here uh, again one stands for the best score and we can see the implementation here v underscore measure underscore score and uh, the same uh, the same logic holds here as well for uh, the data points that are cleanly separated you have a higher score and if there is overlap then the score starts to drop to, towards zero uh, 